Hi there, my name is Ben Martins. I'm the Automotive Application Specialist here at Pico Technology in the UK. And today we will be looking at the premium six-way breakout lead set, part number PQ070. Okay, so we're going to look at another test now using the six-way breakout lead kit set. Then we're going to look at the air fuel ratio sensor on this one. Now, one of the benefits to this, um, this, this kit is that there's uh, 11 sets of um, different types of lead, um, and in each of them sets is actually six leads of the same terminal, which is great for an AF sensor. This particular type is a five wire. So actually it means we can put in a full connection using the breakout lead set and still maintain all them terminals so that we're all connected and working properly. So we're gonna get the scope up and running. Again, taking a relatively long time base, plus or minus 20 volts, because at the moment, if we haven't got a wiring diagram, we're not sure what wires actually put in what out at the moment. So make sure that you're gonna capture something on the screen. And um, if we could start the vehicle up, please. That's great, and then we'll just start connecting. Start at the end now. Now, air fuel ratio sensors, we tend to look between sort of three Four volts is a general operating range for an AF sensor. Now we can see on this at the moment we've actually got hold of what appears to be the duty cycle for the heater circuit, which is great. It's a good opportunity to actually make sure that that is working. And we'll just move along the row and just see what actually comes up on the screen. It's not quite the right one yet. Again, that's operating at 12 volts. So again, that's certainly not gonna be what we're looking for. Go for this one. Okay, this starts to look more like it. AF sensors, in order to get a little bit of activation on the screen, um, we'll do something called a snap throttle or a wide open throttle test. So if you could just put your foot to the accelerator for me, please. That's perfect, thank you very much. And we'll stop the scope there. And then we'll review the results and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the results from our snap throttle test from our AF sensor. Now, as you can see on the scope, we've got the um, range up here. We did take a plus or minus 20. You might want to look going back in and obviously reducing this voltage here, just so that you can get a bit of a clearer trace. Now, AF sensors and oxygen sensors tend to be notoriously noisy. So we can do something called filtering. Obviously, if you just apply the active filtering on here, you do start to see a little bit more detail or not so much detail, but it makes it more clear on the screen. Um, I'm going to take it off for the minute. Now again, one of the benefits of the PicoScope software is that we can zoom in and you can still get lots and lots of detail from that. So we can see the activation there. We can see the fact that the sensor has shifted its position. So we've got a, a rough peak of about four volts there. And again, dropping back down to three volts on there as well. So we're happy that there's uh, activation from that sensor. And from that, we can pr prove that the sensor is doing what it should.